First of all, uh, Rosh Hashanah Tzorotskin visited earlier today, uh, incredible Gain, Rosh Hashiv of Meretz Yisrael. And he said over, just to repeat his words, he said that it says that during Mulchama, you have to bring Torah into the Mulchama. They have to learn Torah by the Mulchama. And I think when we always think that, we think what that means is that there's this uh, dichotomy in Kalal Yisrael, which is also true. That you have those in the base Medrash, and then you have those in the battlefield. And those in the base Medrash are learning for those in the battlefield. He said, no, it's not only that, but even in Bishas Melchama Mamish, even during the war, they would bring Tyra and have the soldiers actually learn during the battle. So he said that to have during the workplace, to have Tyra in the office, Together, as one, is uh, an incredible schos that's bringing the Torah into the Mulchama. On that front, you know, Baruch Hashem, we try to learn as much as anyone wants. If anyone wants a Chavrusa, we make that plug once again, and we're going to try. There has been some uh, talk to start a twice-a-week Gemara Shir, maybe for a half hour before Mincha or 20 minutes before Mincha. If anyone would like, small, slow, light, nothing heavy, about 20 minutes, twice a week, we'll figure out the days. Please see me, we like to put together... Um, a chaver. But let's learn a little bit of halacha like we always do. We're in the middle of the kitchen. We're learning about brachas. We're in Simon Vav over here, page 45, in the art school edition. He tells us that when you make a bracha, kshimavarich, ye piv and naki min haraik. Your mouth should be clean, even from saliva. Vagam shar davar lo ye pitech You should have nothing in your mouth. Shenemar yamali pit hilasecha. Our mouth should be filled with Hashem's praise. In the bottom over here, they reference halachas later on, which is what happens if in the middle of Drinking, you realize, oh shoot, I forgot to make a bracha. Middle of eating, oh shoot, I forgot to make a bracha. Halachas that we'll get to. But one of the reasons, you might think, what's the big deal? So just make a bracha within your mouth. Who cares? Uh, unfortunately, how many times do we talk to people with things in our mouth? It might not be nice. It might not be appropriate. I'm assuming in the business etiquette, it's a big uh, no-no. But it happens. What should I tell you? No. You're praising God. Your mouth should be completely clean. Now one more halacha over here. A little bit, uh, he talks very strongly you cannot utter Hashem's name in vain. It's included in Yiras Hashem, and he says not only even to mention Hashem's name, but if you're doing it in a manner of praise, it's allowed. At one of the Kinesia Gedailas, got up and he said, with I guess if he did it, we could do it, definitely to teach. But this is what the Chavetz Chaim did, and I wasn't there. But, And then he went and he spoke. Now the Pasik doesn't end there. How can you say half of a Pasik? The answer is, the Isra of saying Hashem's name in vain is in vain. If you're saying Hashem's name in praise, which, uh, ironically, it's not ironic, and sometimes the moon of a simple cab driver in Israel might be more than many of us. Yishtabach le'el, many of them say. And if it's said in the, the proper dignity, if it's said that they're praising Hashem, then it is allowed. It's only not allowed to be said in vain. And we'll conclude, as he says over here, which the Mishnah Bura agrees to as well, and uh, Ramesha has a tshuva about it. What about to say Hashem's name in English? To say God, or Gott in German. It's the same halachis. You cannot say in vain. And he says very strong, but when I say, oh, Rabbim, says the Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch, he says, Rav, difficult. Rav, I guess in his times. Rav, how many am, ain't on his arm, they're not careful. Vayim, rim, blush, and Ashkenaz. They say in German. Now you can hear my terrible German. He's, he writes it, and they have it in English, and it's still going to sound horrible. Gott zil im strafen. Could someone say that for me? Gott zil im strafen? Im strafen? I said that good? No? Sounds good. Okay. God should punish him. Godzilla in strafen. Hey, it sounds better if you say it like that. With the so God should punish him. So that's also you're saying Hashem's name. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Now, if you want to say Yishtabachta Hashem, if you want to say Hoydula Hashem, if you want to say Thank Hashem, that's beautiful. But not to say in the name of fabulous day. If anyone wants to get involved in learning a little bit, please see me now or at any time.